scrape and pull out a transcript from a video and then grab all of the timestamps for it and turn them into links to that section of the video. Um, maybe like a little bit of an edge case, but I wanted to know how to do this because I've got this, you know, 90 minute video that we paid for. Um, it's listed privately. I uploaded it just to get the, at the transcript and be able to quickly kind of get around to where I wanted to get in the video without having to, you know, like all the reasons that we want the timestamp link, right? So the first thing I did was I downloaded the Scraper Chrome extension. This is like totally my go-to, but it shows up. It's the first one, Scraper from Chrome Web Store. It looks like this. It's got this fancy little handle on it. Um, this is my favorite one. I don't like the other ones. This is the one that we're using for this purpose. So then I go back over to here and I'm like, okay, I want these three dots and I want to open transcript, right? Once I have installed and activated the Scraper Chrome extension, when I right click on something in the DOM, which is just the way that HTML gets rendered on the page, when I right click on something, there should be this little scrape similar thing here now. So I click on that and if it's smart, it's going to pull everything that looks similar to what I just grabbed, i.e. the full transcript, right? So it's 90 minutes, it took a while to get, but now it's all here. Then what I did was I went through and I just kind of inspected this, right click inspect, and I saw that the um, start offset attribute here, like for the div that I'm targeting, is like this number, right? But this number is sort of weird. It's not 233 seconds. It's like a six digit number. So what I realized is that these are like milliseconds. So you actually only need the first three of these. And why do you need the three of these? Because you're not gonna be able to create your link to this timestamp from like three minutes and 53 seconds or one hour, you know, 40 minutes and 53 seconds, right? You, you need the actual number of seconds in order to get to a point where you can say, hey, give me the link for starting at 426, because it's gonna run a calculation on what's four minutes and 26 seconds in just seconds, right? So we just want the seconds. Um, luckily, they give us that start offset attribute um, that I just pointed out there. So we can also scrape that. So we go back to the Scraper Chrome extension. Which one was it? Was it this one? No, nope, that's the one that I figured it out on. All right, so this is the one where they gave it to us um, automatically. And so what I'm doing in here is I'm just grabbing that final div and I'm saying at start offset, is that what it was? taking a while and now they're all there cool so then I'm going to export that to Google Docs because we're going to be using Google Docs to like build our URLs based on these timestamps and it's supposed to like automatically open up a Google Doc for me it did um, now in here it's doing this weird thing right where it's like there's all this white space so I'm going to get rid of that by going edit find and replace I'm gonna do search using regular expressions and this is sort of like the regular expression for line breaks. And I'm just gonna replace them all with blank. It's gonna put them all in one line, which is nice. And then just cause I'm a weirdo, I'm gonna copy this little white space in front of it, which is sort of like a tab space. I'm gonna replace that with nothing. And we've got that all replaced now. So I've got my offset, i.e. my seconds and milliseconds and then I've got like what text was associated with that that time break right or that time spot so now I'm going to go back over here to the actual video and you can sort of see that this is the format right where it's like here's the name of my video plus time and don't bother going to my private video because it's private um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say you know equals I'm going to turn this into a string I just pasted it and you can see ampersand t equals. We're gonna grab all that as a string and then I'm gonna say and, you know, this, the cell, because we're gonna put something in the cell that's gonna strip out the milliseconds. So how do we strip milliseconds out from seconds? I was like doing all this stuff where I was like trying to trim substrings and, you know, just give me the left whatever characters, but the easiest way to do this is to just say, Divide this by a thousand, 
right? And then get the integer for that with an integer function. So that is the very simple, smooth way. And then I hit Command Shift down to highlight the rest of them, or Control Shift down if you're on a PC. And then I just hit paste, and that runs and pulls down all the seconds for all these things. Go back up to the top where I've created my little, you know, here's the string for the URL plus the second timestamp. And then I copied that and I'm pasting that down. And now I've got them for all of these. So let's see if one of them works. All right, so here someone says, hey, what happened? I thought I got rid of all my, not losing it. All right, so can strike with far more power. So I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to see if this one works. 30 seconds in. Creation to I can strike you with far more power and authority. Perfect. So you now can strike back at me. we have, sorry, now we have like all of our timestamps. They all correspond to things that we would be able to search for. So if I wanted to say like open guard, when are we talking about open guard, right? Um, or if, you know, Google spells it wrong, open god. Um, but I've got these two open guard timestamps that I can now look at. So if there's something specific in here, maybe I watched the video and I'm like, hey, I remember some words from the video. Now I can go back and can find that exact timestamp because I have this little index right here. So I hope that was useful um, or maybe it was just like totally 